I mean, the huge already conflicts of interest that we've seen with uh, Donald Trump. Uh, and Melanie, it seems like he claims to be a billionaire, $10 billion, right? So if we take him at his word, he certainly approve, it's proven a billionaire who likes hanging out with other billionaires. Uh, so he's announcing this morning Steve Munchen, billionaire, as his Treasury Secretary. Wilbur Ross, billionaire, as his Commerce Secretary. He's already announced Betsy DeVos. Forbes puts her wealth at $5.4 billion as Education Secretary. Uh, now, not all of them that he's named are billionaires. Um, Mitt Romney is only worth, according to Forbes, $250 million. Which Poor I think is in comparison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Which I think is lowballing it, by the way, for Bain Capital. But so this is what we call um, draining the swamp. Yeah, uh, that that just it was a, a one campaign promise broken, you know, immediately. Because <laughs> not only did he bring in all of these billionaires, he also brought in all the lobbyists who would do all the work. And you know, th there actually is nothing wrong necessarily with lobbyists. Some of them can be the lobbyists can be, you know, very good people. They may know yeah. a lot about the topics. But this is what Trump said he wasn't going to do. You know, Trump said this was going to be a total change. And all these people who voted for Trump because they were so sick of Washington and the and the ways of Washington and people coming in and just making money off Washington. That's what he said he was going to change. And all and from day one, he's been proving that he's going to be more of the same, you know, new day, same old song. Yeah. The same people are going to come in and then they're going to be cashing out based on uh, making a lot of money based on their Washington time. And I think there's going to be a lot of disappointment across the country when they see how exactly the same it is.